this is on Friday. Hello everybody. Hi guys. I just feel like I'm a little house on the prairie and you are just va va voom. I know. Mm, don't play with me. So what is this? Is this Tuesdays with Tricky or Tuesdays with your breasts? Because for the last couple of episodes you've just been all out. I just find that, you know, when you pay good money for things, you want to show them off. I just find that your eyelash is like hanging on. My eyelash is hanging on for their life. You know what I pay for these damn lashes too? We're going live on Instagram now. No, man. These damn, what, what a brand name? Glamnetic. Oh. Glamass. Hi, Joe. Wait, wait. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. <laughs> She's not even there yet. <laughs> Sorry. There she is. There she is. Okay. Hi, Joe. Joe. She over here about hi Joe, the Instagram not even on yet. Oh god, I call it the Instagram one check. more time. Um, Be like a boy, a boomer. Why Joe? I love your hair. Who did that? Leanne from Blow Blah Blow? Yeah. Whoa, she did your highlights too? Yes. Whoa, looks great. Hair by Leanne, boobs by Dr. Zach, and dress from um Pretty Prairie or whatever the hell it's called. Writing! How could you? Anyways, guys, so today, Jody had to go rush off and get something. Today, but while she's gone and rushed off, today we are so lucky because 876 Seafood has sent us a bevy of delights that I'm going to get into before Jody comes because she's so wonga. She probably went yam off all of it before. Anyway, so anyway, 876 Seafood, uh, that's what their Instagram name, they have started doing some sort of um tell me some sort they have started doing dim sum right so mm. they have spring roll mm. oh, I'm ready. Let me hear something. I love dim sum you see anyway so they sent us some spring rolls they sent us some chive wonton mm. oh my goodness they sent us some shrimp dumplings. Oh, Lord of mercy. Oh, hold on. Oh, sauce. Mm. What is this? Oh, no, these are the chive dumplings. Oh, so one is fried. Wait, hold on. What is time for? Oh, my gosh. Come out of my makeup. Come out of my makeup. I'm not in your makeup. I'm trying to eat the food before you come. What oh, they said sticky, sticky rice. rice. Whose favorite is this? Oh, Levi. Levi loves sticky rice. Oh. And then the piece a la resistance oh. from 876 Seafood. Oh my goodness. Jody, look at these. Oh, those are so cute. Wait, I have to. Look. Oh. Look, that's so cute. Isn't that it's so sweet? I know. And I am so hungry. Let's get jamming. Whoa, okay. Mm -hmm. So these are some spring rolls here. Mm -hmm. Wow, wow. Mm -hmm. mm. I, I love dim sum so much. I love dim sum too. So now they've started in dim sum. 876 Seafood also does the um garlic scallion lobster crab they do different flavors of crab too um they do isn't it sea is it sea lobster king crab is from the sea right with the king crab claws from the sea yeah yeah he lives in the sea with the king crab mm -hmm. and the queen and the queen too mm -hmm. the queen lives there too oh my goodness and then so we got some suimai right here Wow. Oh, that is, if that could crunch anymore. It's not crunchy. Very, very crunchy. Mm. Mm, 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 mm. Sorry. It's good. I came here with my belly. Can I wash, wash it down? Mm-hmm. So, good washer down now. Guys, I'm not even joking. Like, what are you having? What are you having? I'm having the dumpling. This is a pork and shrimp dumpling. Mm. Using Remy's chopsticks here. Oh, my finger is so mm -hmm. small. Oh, this is little ones. It's two different types here. Mm-hmm. Mm. Oh. 
I've eat. never ordered from 876 Seafood. I've been disappointed. Remember when I had it for, was it Daddy's birthday by the pool? Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. We had their lobster before. We actually had their lobster on Saturday. Right when we finished um, Coach Carnival. Mm-hmm. But 876 Seafood does dim sum in the week. So that is what is good because dim sum is usually only on Sundays at most Chinese restaurants. So cute! Oh my gosh, it's so cute. I don't know why to eat it. How are you going to eat the piggy? Just like that. Just like that? Mm-hmm, fire for the pig. Fire for it for mm -hmm. mm. This is so nice. It's something, it's not, it's not, um, char you know. What is it? It's sweet, I think. This is a pineapple bun, no? Is it? Oh, I yeah. think it's pineapple paste. Oh my gosh, let me taste a piece. Oh, this is nice. Mm -hmm. No, it's not bad. I think it's a sweet pea bun. I like sweet. Mm-hmm. It's nice, though. Tell me if I just ate a little piggy. What do you mean? I eat little piggy all the time. Okay. You go wee 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 all the way down. <laughs> <laughs> um, so hi guys. Today we wanted to play a game, but we um we got distracted by the food. Oh my gosh, this is so nice. Who wants some sauce? Me, tell me. Who wants some sauce? Me, tell me now. Drop some heart if you want the sauce. Tell me. Hmm. Tell me. I only know half the sauce, so it, only might, it, it might be wrong, but we're sauce today anyway. Oh, okay. Now wash it down. Wash it down, wash it down, get it ready and wash it down. Mm. Alright. Okay. So, yeah. Sauce time. I'm ready. I'm still chewing. Okay. So my gentle people. Mm-hmm. I got the tea. Mm-hmm. So you know how it was like Miami Carnival on Saturday, right? Anyway, girls go or masqueraders go and they buy their costumes. Now, as you know, costumes are not cheap. Some girls all pay $1,500 for them costume. Designers design up the design out of the costume. One hell of a thing. Anyway, many people went to the mask camp to collect their costumes, different brands right across the board. And the costume that they collected was not the costume that they paid for. What are you talking about? One of the bands, their um, uh, file action lawsuit is being um, considered and one bag of things because people paid, oh, one girl went, she paid $1,000 for a costume, got a band and one other piece, of, like a little piece of costume, and they refunded her $100 when she paid like $1,500 for a costume. What are you talking about? Where you get this tea from? Twitter? No, no Twitter. It's from, it's on the Instagram, it's on one of the Soka pages, but I mean, people are outraged and people are upset and I get the designers, it's kind of unfair because the page was tagging the designers, right? And what happens as a designer is, for like example, for me, I will design a costume, I will put on as much things as I want on it, and then... In all cases, because I don't manufacture any of my costumes, and it's happened multiple times with me and Bacchanal, right? Where I design a costume and I give it to a band for them to manufacture, or manufacture? Is it that? Is that the M word? Uh-uh, So, oh! Oh, the comb is back? No, yeah, but... Uh, uh, oh, the comb is in the lash. Uh. Anyway, you got sidetracked with the... Mm, so then, no. It's up to the um the mass band to reproduce, to mass produce the costume. And they cut corners, they do all kind of things, them can't manage. So they sell out a $1,000 section, right? And instead of doing 50 costumes, they do 150 because they're greedy and then they can't deliver. And then people are now tagging the designers saying, oh, I can't believe this designer do this and whatever. And I don't think it is fair that the designers are tagged because honestly, sometimes I think we get our bad rap. There was one designer where I saw where he came out with an apology and he was like, you know, I'm so sorry, this is not to my standard, this is not what I do, blah, 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 whatever. And I really do appreciate him for putting out that song, Ryan Romani. Of course, he has excellent... Oh, he, I love I him. I love him. I love him. Let me tell you something. A lot he, of the other designers are ignored so, it. And a lot of the other designers are so mean. Remember that one designer that I asked to do my wedding dress and mm -hmm. then when I went to Trinidad Carnival, he acted like he didn't know me? Mm-hmm. 
Mm -hmm. And they were so cliquey and we paid extra for like a little cart because we we're like, oh, our section has a cart. We don't have to go to the big bar. We pay $60 each. I'll buy friends of mine who weren't in the section, paid extra for them and everything. And they were so cliquey. They were mean it's like I us. paid for your costume. First of all, I paid for a large, two large extra backpacks. Did not get them. Right? And nobody said sorry or anything yeah. else. And I was like, this is, but this is kind of like acceptable to that designer because guess what? He either kisses ass or him no business with you. Mm -hmm, and I just mm -hmm. think it's so unfair. So I want to big up Ryan Romani. I appreciate your apology yeah. and I know that it's not your fault and it's not up to your standard. And these mass bands need to do better. Uno too damn greedy. Uno too greedy. It reached me enough time in a while. I'm like, that's not the costume that I gave you. And then them go kill me on Twitter about, what do you call it? Dolly. The, um, Dolly Crown I one, but I'm like, that's not what I designed. And one year I actually wore the costume that I designed on the road and the girls got something different and they were like, how come yours looks like that? And I'm like, that's what you're supposed to look like, but it's not my fault. The designers get some real shit, boy. Well, I mean, you know, I just don't understand because you pay for these costumes and I don't understand what gets messed up in translation. Because do you not remember that year that I had to go and they didn't have a costume for me at all? None at all. Yeah. And I, they took me to the room with all of the costumes in there for the band I was playing. I was like, oh, choose one. Thank God me did skinny and look hook a bit them time. Them yeah, she picked one off the, off the, she picked the, you picked a prototype. So really mm -hmm. and truly that prototype could have fallen up. Tracy has not been to Trinidad Carnival one single year out of her 11 times going that she has opened her box, gotten what she has paid for and the sizes she has paid for. Never, never. Never. Jody, that's why you're not designing anymore. I do have a design, but I'm I'm gonna be I'm actually I've worked on two pieces. One I need to finish. This is good. One piece I need to finish. But at the same time, it's just disheartening because then I get the blame and then the girls pick up their costume and they leave. I go me. take the blame. Yeah. One girl, you want to see me Tell one them night? Tell them call me name. Up, I will no make more. it better for you. Where can I meet you? Let me fix it for you. One girl, I was like, don't worry, I'm gonna go and find this for you. And she wasn't even jumping my section. She was just jumping on the bandwagon of like bitching me. And I tried to make it better. I was like, okay, I'll find this for you. That find that for you. She went on the road in a different costume, and I was like, but that's the costume she paid for. Why was she? Why was she bitching on me? Mm. So I was like, you know, designing is, is, is hard, especially if you don't manufacture and especially like the Trinity designers who designed and then sold their design to Miami but weren't in Miami to help mass produce was... Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Thanks guys, my eye makeup looks good but I tried these new... You ever heard of the glam... glam neck... Nah, glam tetetic... Glam netic. Glam netic expensive lash, them, the magnetic lashes? Them don't work. I just wanted to also... Bam bam! Bam... Sorry. Bam C. There is... A Pepper in the um, soy sauce, I never know, but that's the mm, good. Um, so I want to let you know something else. If you were to order one of everything off of the 876 seafood, 876 seafood dim sum menu, it would only come up to five grand. Hmm? Mm-hmm. One of every item they have. Mm-hmm. This is good. Mm-hmm. Alright. You guys want more sauce? Wait, hold on. What mm -hmm. did you guys think of uh, Miami Carnival? Hmm? From the pictures you saw, I saw this one girl and she looked so good. And literally, that's the only picture that I've seen that I feel like the girl, um, bad man, came out proper. She did. What is her name? I think that, um, after seeing the pictures, Miami Carnival didn't make me feel like I missed out. Mm hmm. Mm -hmm. You know? I, I was I was expecting so much more from Miami because it's the first carnival in almost two years and um I just expected so much more but I think sometimes too when you have great expectations for certain things and it doesn't deliver then you're all of a sudden like super you know Pamela Thompson she says it looked boring mm. the costumes was pretty but a lot of drama behind the scenes says Tuki 110. Talk to me, talk to me! I want to hear the drama. Besides it being obviously fun, what was the reason for Carnival? There's a backstory historically. Yeah, it's supposed to be like the, um, when you start planting your crops, so you celebrate or you reap the crops. It has something to do with crops, which is why in Barbados it's called crop over. Oh, it's crop over. Maybe the crops are over and you're thanking the gods. It has well, something to do with the, with the vegetation and planting and thanking the Lord or whoever it is for um, such a good vegetational season. So carnival in different countries come from different holidays. So in Trinidad, 
where I would like to call the birthplace the mother of carnival. I don't care who won Vex. It is the mother mm. of carnival. Fine. Yeah. Crunch so, get, you know? carnival takes place on the Monday and Tuesday right before Ash Wednesday. Can you hear that? Can you hear that crunch? Mm. And remember, you know, you have your 40 days of Lent. And then on Friday, Good Friday, which is also known as Fantastic Friday in Trinidad. Oh, God. That is when you study real pattern. Then you study pattern and then Saturday, it can't even take no rest, right? And it goes right up to Carnival Monday and Tuesday. It's so loud, it's in my head. And that's like the celebration of the, the last of your wildness, the last of your inhibitions before you turn into grandmother's child on Ash Wednesday. And so you leave your mass Monday and Tuesday, you leave your inhibitions behind, you leave your shame tree on Can the road. Can you hear that? Or are you just ignoring me? Hello? I'm, I'm ignoring you. Oh. Then you go to church on Wednesday morning and you get your ashes. So that's what it is in Trinidad. In Jamaica, it falls on the weekend after Easter Sunday. Oh my goodness, what is this right imagine here? I, imagine I know that the, 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 the um, I just found something magical to wash it down with. The history of Trinidad Carnival, I don't know. Ja Cheers. Jamaica Carnival is Jamaica the Sunday Carnival. right before work. Oh, thank you, Lady B. Mixology, for providing me with this mango peach hard cider. Yeah, baby. Okay. I have a star fruit peach passion whiskey sour. Mm. This is good. Brazil mm -hmm. started carnival. Yes, 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 yes. yes. This yes. is good, but the red wine, the red wine pouch you had. We're, last we're week talking. So we're talking wine. about the Caribbean. The Caribbean. What was your favorite from A76 seafood that you've had so far? The rice pudding. The, the leave one for Levi. The, the yes, rice cake. Yes. These little things are really good. The little pigs. Yeah. This, but I love sweet. The spring roll was nice and crunchy. Everything was really good. I'm actually presently surprised because they're named presently pleasantly surprised oh. because it's named 876 seafood. So when you're like 876 seafood is bringing dim sum, I'm like. Okay. Yeah. But it's shot. It's pretty shot. It's pretty shot. It's pretty I like shot. it too. I like mm -hmm. it too. Mm -hmm. I never I never had one of these little boys here though. Let me have one of these little little shrimp balls things right here. Okay, I'm just gonna take my fingers with it. So Oh all right, people really go. come here and ask them and say the most boldest things. Yes they do. Where it's like my to like us. Oh. Mm. Where are the drinks from? You don't know. Who's You don't know. You don't know. So the drinks are from Lady B Mixology, and Lady B Mixology is a mixologist. So if you say to her, you know, I really love orange, so she'll be like, say no more, and she'll mix you a cocktail. It's seven six seafood is here. They're in the house. They're on alive. So if you guys have any questions that you want to ask, it's seven six seafood. You can you can message them right now. They are here. Let me show you one more time. The little piggy buns that they provided and they taste so good. What is this? What is this? It's a, is this a sweet pea bun? It's not called piggy balls though. <laughs> I said piggy buns. Oh, what are the piggy buns? Are these a sweet pea buns? Because these were really, really, really good. Mm. Anyway, I just have to say I enjoyed everything from A76 Seafood. It was really good. But thank, thank you guys. I do see the comments where you're saying um, I look wonderful and I appreciate it. And I did appreciate the comment about somebody saying that I look better with my curly hair. Because I want to tell you that when I put on straight wigs, I feel like... I feel, a whole new world. Yeah, but it's almost like I look and I'm like, oh, I really like my hair straight. Like I feel prettier. But it's not mm -hmm, mm -hmm, I, that mm -hmm. I feel prettier. It's just that... Curly it's called it's a grand china bun. This is a grand, grand china, china bun. bun. Yeah. Check out some grand china. Grand china good. Grand I, china very good. I feel like with my curly hair I can't look formal. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? Like I'll mm -hmm. have my curly hair. I can't have on a gown with curl. I feel that mm -hmm. I can't look formal with my curly hair. And I guess I don't know. So sometimes I'm like, oh, I think I'd straight my hair. Like I look better. I feel pretty. Tanisha but Francis is asking what is a grand china bun. So the grand china bun is from eight seven six Free Food, and it is this little piggy hair. Oink, oink. But inside is what is in what is inside of it? It's, it's something, something sweet. sweet. It's something sweet. So I'm gonna just have one right now. I'm gonna leave one for Levi and Remy. And so, oh, you tore the thing down the middle. Oh. Well, give me half, man. Sure. And so inside is like I don't know what this is, but it's a yellow treasury. Somebody wants to talk about your head top wine on Saturday. Mm. Tracy was out and about for a couch carnival on Saturday. Mm -hmm. Head top wine and bear things. Mm -hmm. 
Oh well, it's piggy is good. This is good. Sorry, Grand China bun. Mm-hmm. Grand China bun is very good. I know I had two little um salsa. Tracy had two little salsa and her head lick off. Mm -hmm. Drunk, 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 drunk. Yeah, it is nice and creamy. It's good. It's Grand China bun. I get nine of these. You get nine of them? Mm-hmm. I think I could just eat two. No, I want nine. Nine. Mm-hmm. I usually don't like these things, but they're, these ones are really good. I think it's because the size of them is so nice and mm. they're not too And big. you can dip them in mm -hmm. the soy sauce and it's just mm -hmm. perfect. But I would say, and usually Scott loves to order these ones, but I don't usually eat them. But this time I find that I'm enjoying these the most. Hi, Winnie. What's happening? No, it's not my real hair, guys. It's a wig. Mm -hmm. So when I edit my photo and you see like my blur, the blur tool, yeah. Good girl, I don't know if I broke a wig. Sorry. I, w I still wish I went to Mama Carnival though. For sure! Mm-hmm. I'm just taking my own costume. Mm-mm. Some of the costumes, they look good. Yeah, but you may not have gotten your costume. Who was the girl that I thought looked so good in the costume? I don't know. That, in the pink costume, that girl. Her mm. body hot, rusted. And she had the dreads. Gee, it was dreads or braids. I don't remember, but, but she's in the like, waist oh my was gosh, dressed. she was, she was mm -hmm. killing it in her costume. Okay. She had like neon pink mm -hmm. costume mm -hmm. and mm -hmm. the neon pink on her dark skin. Mm. Oh my gosh. She looked good. She looked damn good. She looked good. Mm -hmm. Bum. Mm. She looked damn good. Makeup by Sean looked good. I didn't see any pictures of her. The costumes weren't ready. Oh God, Bashman Bobby from Trinidad, she throwing wood, she throwing wood, wood. <laughs> and I find that another thing was some of the influencers that they had that I love. Um, Let me see if I can find They didn't really complete the costume. Like there's this young girl that I follow who's a bodybuilder. Her body is absolutely amazing. She put on her costume and posted her picture in her bra and her panty. And yes, her body is amazing, but she did not stand out. Where's your headpiece? Where's your wings? You know, where's the little pose? Like she did the regular pose that she does when she's doing the bodybuilding. And I was like, hmm. Okay, so somebody was saying, talk about Cardi B birthday party now. I wish so, I was going. First of all, me vex, me vex, me vex, me vex. Because Sean was like, oh, you know, Cardi B invites me to her party, but I'm not traveling. I'm like, I am. I am. Imagine me in my way, Cardi! Hey! Wagwan! Hey, you know, if, you say, if you know, you know, if you look at Cardi and tell her, Wagwan, that's it. She's a friend. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah, I, was yeah, like, yeah. I was like, I'm not traveling. I have two young kids. Oh, boy. Oh, boy. I think that was a mistake. What, are you two young kids? <laughs> <laughs> anyway, guys, I am going to have to travel soon. You're going to hear much more about it next week. Next week, we're going to have a very special, fun pack show for you. And I'm going to um, I'm going to tell you about, I'm sure you saw me post about my reality show. We're going to have a question and answer. I'm going to tell you how you can actually audition to be on the show. And um, I, will, I will fly you around the world to the next global carnival. We will do all of that next week because, all right, let me bust it, let me bust it. Next week, we're having closet carnival. Mm-hmm. So make sure you tune in next week. I'm going to tell you guys how you can audition. I'm going to tell you more about the show, give you more information. So I might take and a drunk off of the like one liquor hard side. I'll get you some, I'll get you something, I'll get you something like, I'll get you something else. I want the red wine bag that she made. Okay, like. Lady B Mixology, can we get a red wine bag and can I get a grapefruit rosemary for next week? You know what? Make it two. Double up. Cause it carnival going ton up. That red wine berry smash you made the other day. Was really good. Woo! -wee! Mm. Anyway. All right, so guys, why do we have a fryer up here? Tracy, extra, she, extra, she, extra. Lady B Mixology says, short thing. Yeah! Cause the carnival is on. So anyway, we have an air fryer in here because today the food, there's ton up inside of the closet, right? I'm Coronisha. You're Coronisha? Yeah, somebody asked who am I today. I'm Coronisha. Coronisha, okay. Mm -hmm. So, um... But before we get to the air fryer, right. did you have something you wanted to talk about? Something else you wanted to tell the people? What? Oh, you forgot. Jordi has a secret she's been keeping from all of you. What? That I missed my period? <gasps> a joke, a joke, a joke. Yes, Lord! I'm 
screenshot it no a joke a joke a joke what joe no a joke what's the what's it what's i'm gonna keep it from you guys can you imagine if you got pregnant i'd love that would you yeah oh my gosh the first four months of baby dumb baby babyhood i have not enjoyed it at all mm. oh my gosh it's just so hard but every mom has that so you know what but you like when you get over that period of your life you forget about it really? and then you go back like and I'm going to. Like, do you remember the exact pain that childbirth brought you i when i was screaming i said to myself mentally i'm not ever going to forget yes. this pain because i don't want to ever forget it that when was i was painful. yes i remember i remember at eight when i was rocking on the ball and i said don't touch me yes to my yes, husband yes. i was like this is horrible and now i'm like it wasn't that bad it's like you don't remember Tracy looking like, like the wife, wife and Jody looking like the mate. I like that. I like that. I like that. <laughs> it's true. I do look like little house on the prairie, but you it's okay. Like little skittle hoe, like hey, wear your man's. Just saying. Just saying. Wow. Okay, so um, we also got some. What's the secret? I just want tell you. Oh. So we also got some jamosas here from Banyan Catering. So the Jamosa from Banyan Catering are actually available at Price Smart right now. They're on a special deal for this week only. They are $780 per pack of Jamosa. They've also added some more Jamosa. So it's 14 to the pack and oh, they've wow. added a sauce inside there. Right? Oh, so $780 this week only at Price Smart. So hold on, hold on. So you brought a pack of Jamosas up here and that's why you have the air fryer? That's right. She puts her air fryer in my closet and I'm like, what is she doing? So the jamosas are here. Mm -hmm. So I just wanted to show everybody how easy, quick and convenient the jamosas are. If you have an air fryer, that's great. If you have an oven, that's great. If you have a frying pan and some oil, that's great as well. You can get your jamosas I used to ready bake anyway. mine, but I, I've never done them in the air fryer. So Tracy... Well, this is also Heroes Weekend is coming. So everybody's heading down to the country and jamosas are a really nice snack for you to have. Just sitting yeah. by the pool, you can pop a jamosa. Um, anyway, so Levi, and like, this was a 2018 winner at the Jamaica Observer Food Awards. So Levi likes the Callaloo ones. So I actually have, this is how they come when you open it up. The jamosas come like this inside. And they have a little sauce. Somebody okay. wants to know, yeah, she's, she's going to cook them today with hopes and dreams in the air fryer. No, no, no. I actually oh. bought some Crisco. Okay. Oops, and dreams my backside. Got to dance, right? And we are gonna add to our feast today. We are gonna add a little bit of jamosas, just showing you guys how easy cheesy they are to cook. Is that Jody Berry says she likes jamosas too, and she also bakes hers. You bake them? Yeah, okay. but that takes that takes long, right, Joe? Like it takes a little longer than like you, you can't be starving. You have to be like hungry. You know, watch her, watch her with my air fryer. You didn't know what to do? Yes, I just took the Don't just off. plump them off. Just, what? you like, you have to finger them all up. I hate when people touch up, touch up my food. And then, and then this is why I, I, when people have that meme, don't eat at people's house. Wait, 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 don't spray it yet. Make sure all of them are separated or at least have their own little space. Okay, mm -hmm. so why are you going to spray them? Because to get them brown, that's how you get them brown and like cripsy. Okay. All right. Okay, that's enough. Okay. Oh, that's moisturizing. This Scott needs to trademark the the saying "hopes and dreams" because I use that <laughs> in the time when I'm pouring oil. Right. Okay. 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 Take what? it off the counter. Take what off the counter, fit. Fitz is back and giving instructions <laughs> Again. as usual. Hello, Fitz. It's on the same counter downstairs. This is Marbell. You know, it doesn't... Um, so I'm going to put I it... What temperature remember. should I put it on? Just put it at air fry. If you touch air fry... Oh. The, that's big. Is that air fry? No, that's air fry. All right, turn it on now. And press start? Yeah, it's, that's nine minutes. Just press start. Press start. Press start. Press start. I'm pressing start. Okay. Oh. Oh, it sounds like, you know, when you're in the plane... Oh! <laughs> it does! I thought so too, but I didn't want to say oh, it in the country. Quiet, enjoy. <sighs> but the runway. Oh, the runway! <laughs> oh. 
<laughs> I need. I want to touch that little dirty magazine that they always have. Yes, and you look yeah, like yeah, oh, you buy this. Yeah. I mean, can you know you, you, when you're going far, you know you have your money, you know, so yeah, you feel yeah. rich, and you say, yeah, man, go buy everything. You know this year, American Airway magazine. Yeah, yeah, yeah. By the end of flight, you're like. No, I get it cheaper in the mall. Yeah, yeah but yeah, every yeah. time you go on the flight, you gotta buy out the magazine because you know, say, you have $500 in your purse. Mm-hmm. Or, or so, or so. Sometimes a little less. But you know, you know, we'll make it up. I don't think you've ever had less than $500 in your purse. Have you? No, because I saved to go to Miami. But I'm not going to lie. When I moved back from Barcelona, I literally. I literally had two hundred dollars in my purse and no money in a bank account. I told you to come home. I came to get you. Mm-hmm. Let's not talk about what you came and did, okay? Shush, shush, shush. shush. I was married at that time, so you be quiet. <laughs> Mere trouble me giving a Barcelona. Mere trouble. This anyway. shrimp dumpling is very delicious. Yeah, yeah, you, 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 you're going on, you know. You're going on. Mm-hmm. Ooh. You know what I love about dim sum too? It's shareable. It's shareable, and it goes a long way. Because if you can fill oh, up yeah, Scott yeah, Billy yeah. on yeah. Dim Sum. Mm-hmm. Yo, Scott come in like, you know them large Yeti coolers, like the space in there? Or like a bathtub. His belly is the size of a bathtub. Mm. Tracy went to Barcelona. He's a big guy. To run away from her problems. And then in her running away from her problems, she created more. Because me go mad in a Jamaica, don't know what to do with myself, go decide to cuss off my neighbor and bear things, and you know how that went. I didn't even me. know that was going on. I was just so in. So when I went away to Barcelona, I didn't go with like knowing what I was going to do. I just packed a suitcase and left. And I started to enjoy it so much that I decided I wanted to live there. Tracy sent her a message, send, sell my car and send the money. I'm like, absolutely not. Absolutely not. So I was having a really, really, really good time in Barcelona. And, um, <clears throat> And no, I don't speak the language. I started off being an English teacher over there and I didn't like it. I didn't like teaching English. And so I was looking for another job, but I was just spending my money. I was just spending my money, spending my money. I went through a whole heap of my savings, actually all of my savings. (laughs) And I just spent money and had a fabulous time. I lived a great year, almost a year over in Barcelona. Jody came to try and come get me. Um, Lala, Katana, Kylie, and Lena came over there to try and come get, get me. me. Yeah. I would not leave. Um, Jody was down here. So many people were sending messages. Your sister's not doing too good out here. She was apparently crying all over the place. That's not true. I don't cry. Bad girl, not cry. What are you talking about? I mean, I've had allergies once or twice. <laughs> what the hell is wrong with you? I did not cry. Uh, meanwhile, I was living the dream over in Barcelona. Yo, I did not want to leave I did not want to leave. we go over to Barcelona and she's like yo look at this tap put this on the hair and turn on the tap I turn on the tap wine came out the top yeah she's like do you know how much for that, that bottle of wine I'm like no god how much is it she's like oh like pesos I'm like what yeah. like the tap wine was so good and it was cheaper than water like wine yeah, was, it was cheaper, cheaper than, than water, water. So it we was like the city drunk. of the gods we were so <laughs> drunk all the time and you just go to the the, 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 the the lawn space the park and you just lie out and you eat like a charcuterie board and you drink more wine and then you go out in the night and we didn't even go to like a, a I don't like clubs. I don't like clubs. No, we didn't. Go, I don't I like clubs either. Yeah. We went bar hopping, yeah. which was even better. Because yeah. I lived on a road that was like, I lived was, in the middle of, um, I lived in the middle of Barcelona, so I was like surrounded by bars and really amazing restaurants. So, like we would just get ready in the night and just start bar hopping. Oh, it's so good. Do you remember the eggplant and honey dish? No, oh, that was really good too. Anyway, um. So somebody was asking me about my makeup look. I got this little palette here, this Huda Beauty palette over at um, EC Makeup Bar. I almost said 876 Makeup Bar. <laughs> the food just in the head. So I got this at EC um, Makeup Bar. Ma- EC Makeup Bar over in New Kingston Shopping Center, and I will be giving away the purple one to this over on my YouTube channel when the video drops. There's like. I'll be doing a wait, giveaway. Wait, 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 give it away to me. No. Go what? to EC and get one yourself. So I'll be giving what this one it? away um, on my... It's, what is it? It's a little palette. It's an eyeshadow palette. So EC Makeup Bar is offering... Um, nine minutes are up. So this is the one I use today. Wow. Yeah. So EC Makeup That's Bar so would be offering like full glam... Um, 
using like, you know, the, pr the premier fancy products that you would like to feel and have used on your face. You can go to EC Makeup Bar and they have makeup services that are offered. And all of these things that they like, do? they're starting to offer, I believe, this Saturday. So like if you want to have a photo shoot, a party, or if you just don't want like the little crusty crusty makeup from the pharmacy rubbed all over your face, you can ask them to use, hey, I saw Huda palette, do you have it? Could you use it on my face? Oh, I saw um, a nursing, oh, I saw a Fenty thing, can you use it on me? Mm -hmm. And I think that that's really important too because I find a lot of places in Jamaica don't offer samples. So you're going to pay or buy something, especially makeup where you could it could be so hit or miss. Look how much time we come in the closet with things when we buy from online and my face is a different color from my body. You know what I mean? So you mm -hmm. can go there and be like, I saw Huda foundation that I really like. Can you try and see if that's my color? So you can check out EC Makeup Bar. I'm gonna try and get that video out for Friday with the giveaway. I love those comments that they prefer my hair curly because honestly, I felt really like, I don't like my curly hair today. So I appreciate that. There's well, an air fryer. Yeah, we're not in a plane. It's already? Oh. It says eight minutes. That was only one minute gone? I know, can you imagine? Oh my gosh. For one minute straight. Then we have an air fryer going on. I can't chat for longer than that. There's an air fryer in the closet, so that's the noise that you're hearing. We are cooking in the closet. We are cooking in the closet. I'm not going to lie, my belly full of dim sum right The eye palettes, so the eye palettes are really good. For the foundation, the one that I have, I find may not be my this color. She says the Huda are too orange. Yeah, that was a Huda that you wore last year. Last but week, you know, but, but you I know, there are people who are orange that it will suit them. There are orange. I find that, and it's long wearing. I like my Huda thing, but all I do to match the orange is try pull it down. And then I actually think I need a different color. So, but I'm not waste it. If you see me coming here with my orange face, just please ignore. You know, we're not gonna waste the Huda. The next time, you know what I'm gonna do? Not do you guys online. prefer go my hair curly or straight? That's what I want to know. Curly or straight for me? Because I've been trying to figure out if I'm gonna keep these curls or if I'm gonna go back straight. Tracy, Stevie, just pretty so. That she is. My sweetie, sweetie. I like Fenty. Have you Fenty tried it? so much. Yes, I have. Stevie is my sweetie, sweetie, and she is just getting better and better, just like her mommy. With better age. and better what though? You're With making age, it seem like, like she's like... Just like, she not so cry cry, the colic is gone away, she not so cry cry, she just gets cuter every day. The other morning she woke up and she looked shiny and I just love her, oh God. I love when she like realizes it's me and she realizes that's a crazy auntie and she just starts smiling yeah, at me. Yeah. <laughs> she definitely, you know the other day her godfather came to visit her and he was like, oh my gosh, she just has a smile that lights up the room. And what what what, what is her godfather's name? Sid and Richard. Ah, yes, 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 yes. What is the god? Oh, that's right. I was like, oh, God, who is the godmother with me? I'm not godmother. I'm um, auntie. No, you're not godmother. Who's the godmother again? Ray and, and Tiffany. Oh, okay, 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 okay. I agree with that. I agree with that. So let's let's talk about why I'm not the godmother. Well, I just don't feel like you should be the godmother because you already have such a grand position as auntie. So I feel that godparents are people who you want to invite into your family that you yeah. never want to let go. So for instance... Oh, wow. Yeah. A godparent is somebody who you invite into your family because you don't want them to go. That's so sweet. That's how I think about it. So nice. And then when I was thinking about who I want to be a god, Leah says, I'm Remy's. That's, That's right. right. <laughs> and then when I was thinking about who I wanted to be Stevie's godmother, you know, I have a lot of friends and I know that a lot of them are very near and dear to me, but it was also somebody who I wanted to be present in Stevie's life. So I wanted it to be somebody who would be able to come and visit and be there often for Stevie. So Racine, although she lives away, she travels very often. Often. You know, Racine has been very good with keeping in contact with me throughout the whole of my pregnancy. Racine and I speak every single day, and that was important. And they have to good me. morals, they have good yeah. values, they're fun, you know, they're they're all of these things that so I want to finish what I'm saying. So that was important to me that Racine is in good contact with me every single day, even though she lives away, and then she will be in good contact with Stevie. I chose Tiffany because she was an obvious choice for me. Tiffany is my BFF. No. Tiffany is my BFF. Tiffany is my. She's mine. You know, some people are man teeth, me are best friend teeth. <laughs> me will teeth a best friend. Yeah. Me teeth a best friend. Oh! I should 
go and love me come in sport. She, she kind of dowdy. Look how she dressed today. <laughs> Everybody want to hang out with the mates. Nobody want to hang out with the wifey. Look how wifey dressed like she going to church. Yeah, mates come to party. Yeah, me see your best friend. So hold on a second, hold on a second. I just want to talk about something, right? Because... I said to Jodi, we have matching bracelets. So Jodi has um, this this food company on her phone, right? And the food company messages Jodi every day with what they have available, right? <laughs> call a name, call it, just call a name. Just see her message me again. She's always troubling me. She's my friend. It's Simos, Christina Simonich from Simos. So we're doing a list for my birthday. So hold on, now. so anyways, the, the, so. Simo's catering messages Jody every day with what they have available, right? Because she's so thinking of me. I'm doing a birthday list, birthday party list for Jody, and I'm like, okay, Jody, you know we're only allowed a limited amount of people because of the whole Corona thing. So can you please find people to put on your birthday list? Jody is like scrounging. She reached three and book. She can't. She reached three and book. She can't think of no more friends. To invite, she's like, then she's actually like, good upset. She's like, I don't have any friends. I don't have any friends. And I'm like, Joe, that's okay. We don't have any. Hey, right you know what? So she's asking me, I'm going to invite Simo's catering. They message me every single day. Every single day, they message me. Nikki should. Every day, they message me. They check on me every day to let me know that they have pesto, <laughs> that they have all these things. They care. They care. They care for me, okay? No, I died. They'll be like, yo, we have popsicles, we have this. I'm like, yo, thanks, Christina. You got me. Of course I'm going to invite you to my party. You message me more than Tracy messages me in a day. Oh, my sure. gosh. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So... <laughs> I can't even watch my, my jaw is hurting me from laughing so hard at that one. No, sir. What are you talking about? It's my friend. Yeah, she's your friend. She your friend. Jeez. Why am I acting like I'm coming from Cardi B? Pass a pass a party. So did you see did you see the person cussing me off on YouTube? So I get it. First of all, I'm the older sister, right? And I'm the more dominant sister. I'm just a more dominant person. Except if you're if you're my BFF, I love you. I'll let you talk. And somebody was like, you know, you're really mean to your sister and you don't let her talk and blah, blah, blah. So I was like, yeah, she'll get over it. Lick a sister bag. <laughs> and she said, oh, you're being so defensive. I don't even remember what she said. And a couple other people were like, yo, this is just their sister relationship. This is how it goes. Yeah, like, yeah, that's just us. That's just like, that's us. us. That's like, us. if I want to talk, I talk and Tracy will listen. If Tracy wants to talk, I don't let her talk. That's how it goes. <laughs> I don't listen. <laughs> And the girl was getting so upset to block her. I'm like, girl, if you don't. But you know what I did appreciate? She said there was good with the bad. She's like, I actually like your content, but I don't like you. <laughs> <laughs> I blocked her. I think it was Sandra. <laughs> no, don't block Sandra. Sandra just, has wisdom with I'm her just, words. I'm just joking. Sand, Sandra is gone. She does not care about us. Check on your things. Check on your things. Make sure they don't burn, you know. No, they're not burning. I can see them. I think, like, right when you smell something cooking, it's like five minutes ready or two minutes ready well, to come out. So be careful. Forty-three seconds. Okay, because I smell it. I smell it. So anyway, I'm just going to open up the little packet of sorrel that we got from sorrel dipping sauce that we got from eight seven six. That sounds like a nice mix. That a sorrel from. dipping sauce. What are we have in Kalaloo? The light is on Kalaloo. This is from Jamosa. Oh, burpee. They gave us a dipping sauce as well, all in one package, you know. But so you get, hold on. You get the fourteen sam. Sorry, let me let you talk. Go ahead. You get the 14 <laughs> samosas and you get the sauce. For yes. seven, that's good. I see the ends getting cripsy. People take things way too seriously on the internet, especially when they don't know you personally. Like, why would I go online to pick a fight with somebody I don't know? Jody, let me sometimes tell you something. Burning. <laughs> <laughs> Jody, let me tell you something. Sometimes people want to fight, you know. I ask Scott all the time I, he comes home and I just want to fight. I start picking a fight with him. Plane has landed. <laughs> I think too, like I don't realize it. Like sometimes when I watch back, I'm like, wow, I really did call down Tracy. But that's how our dynamic is. You know what I mean? And maybe if it was somebody else who was co-hosting with me, that the, dy the dynamic would be different. But that's how we have always rolled. Like, I don't know what you want me to do. What else you going to talk about? The Bachelor? Come on, man. Oh God, oh God. Okay. New season is on tonight, guys. No, no, no. Tonight is football or something. We're back again next week. We're back again next week. Mm. What? These are hot. Stop touching them. Stop touching the oh, food. Thank you. Thank you. You come to my house. If you become my best friend, 
I'll make these three at my house and I won't touch them because I don't want anybody to say, hey, it's a people yard. Yeah. And I don't touch the ice. I don't grab ice in my freezer. Sean does. I will use a scoop. But you still may get a scoop of his dirty hand ice. Well, that's ice why at my house. Okay, so there's lots more in the oven. Leave it in there to get warm. I'm just going to leave them to keep warm. Sorry, my knee. I've been having a lock knee. I didn't just lock it. I was trying to sit down. <laughs> I was just Have standing up there. Have you gone to the doctor yet? No. It's going to be way too hot, so let's wait until I haven't gone to the doctor to check it out. You need yet. to check it out next thing. You know, your knee will go away. Mm. We're going to save up some of this. Need My knee is going to go away? Like it will stop, it will stop um, being a knee? Mm -hmm. Spicy Turner. Somebody wants to know where I live. Full address, please. Why are you coming for some? <laughs> you coming oh, for she some wants to be my best friend. Oh! oh. Trisha, she wants to come on your party. Oh, yes. Okay, 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 okay. I'll get in your DMs so you can apply. There will also be auditions for my reality show next week. They will open up next week. So, um, you can come to my house then. Really? You're going to have it at your Am house? I just going to be holding this plate? Oh, sorry. She wants to come to my house. You want me to hold it? Huh? No. No. <laughs> <laughs> Don't let me drop the plate, you know. <laughs> nope. Drop, drop that plate. Plumber down. Don't, Don't drop, drop that plate. Plumber down. Don't drop that plate. Plumber down. Don't, Don't drop that plate. Down. All right, let's get it. It's still down. hot. I bet you when you bite into it, it's going to be hot. I don't want to be like. <laughs> <laughs> All right, let's take a dip. Put some salt. Dip, in. baby, dip. Come on now, dip, baby. How oh, it is? Wait, it's too hot for me, please. It's too hot, too hot. Too wait, hot. wait. Okay. Oh, the Kalalui, Kalalui. Kalalui? Mm-hmm. With, 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 with Levi like it for his lunch pan? Yeah. This would be something for his lunch pan? Mm-hmm. It's so, the Kalalui is so nice. It's nice. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. You want to say, oh, you, oh, somebody was saying they want to send a book for Remy. You can jump in my DMs or my email is right there on my page. It's jodyjinx876 mm. at gmail. And you can send a book for Rem Rem. This is very good. It's very good. The, the sour and the callaloo are like surprisingly, well, actually, no, not surprising. But it's such a good mix together. Is it? I like it. You don't like the sour and the callaloo I'm together? I'm trying now. Okay. <laughs> mm. Mm. Mm -hmm. The style and the color do blend still. Oh, no big party says wholeness. I'm gonna invite him. What are you talking about? Oh. I'm gonna invite him and do what all the up the uptown people are doing. Just no pictures. Hello. <laughs> you didn't get the memo. Mm -hmm. Do what you want. Invite a minister and no pictures. Come on. Oh. Just joking. The rules are gonna change by then. We can't stay locked down forever. So, anyways, guys, as I was saying, <laughs> you can buy these Jamosas right now at Price Mark for a special price of seven hundred and eighty dollars. Fourteen come in a pack along with the dipping sauce. Oh, oh. And they're very, very, very good. Um, very nice to carry to the to the beach or just you going over to a friend's house. You don't want to walk with your two long hands. You don't have a. You can just keep them in your freezer. So instead of a bottle of wine, carry some jamosas. Wait, what? Instead, along with a bottle oh, of wine. Oh, oh, oh. What do you mean? Instead of a bottle of wine, you can carry some jamosas. I don't drink, so. You don't drink? I don't drink. <clears throat> Thanks to Lady B Mixology today for providing with the cider, which I'm sure has alcohol in it. But she don't drink. And also don't for drink. my starfruit peachy passion fruit whiskey sour. Somebody says it looks like he's going to have us in lockdown until next year. I don't know. He made some comments the other day. So I am thinking, I am thinking, nobody don't jump on me. Wait, hold on, don't jump on her because she's actually thinking, this is the day, this is the day that the Lord has made, that the... Sandra Squared is like, yeah, you get her, get her, <laughs> get her. Like, I think that like he's gonna do some kind of, if he doesn't do a vaccine mandate, 
then he's going to do the vaccine passport. So people who have vaccination have like almost like an immunity, like you can go on the road and do whatever. And he's going to put restrictions on persons who are not vaccinated. That's what I think he's going to do. Hold on, Jamos has just said that they will be available on Carb Shopper for overseas people. Oh, wicked. I wonder if she would give us a box or two that we could to give, give away. A giveaway with. Let's give them away anyway. <laughs> Let's give away two boxes anyway. Simone, we're going to give away some stuff. Let's give it away. Let's give it away. Let's give it away. Simone, we're doing a giveaway. We're we'd like to thank so much to Band and Catering for this giveaway. We're going to give away some stuff. Sorry, Simone. We have two boxes of Jamosas. So you can also get the boxes. They're on uh, sale this week at Price Mart for, for $780 a box. And this is for our foreign market so that we, they will know exactly what we're feeling and exactly what we're tasting right mm -hmm. now. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Ooh, What's let me get question? a pen to write down the winner. What's our question? What's our question? This is, yo, this is always where we mess up, yo. Okay, you always do some always. stupidness with the question, yo. What do you mean? You always do some stupid. Who's the best sister? Oh, that's correct, so and so. You won. It's me. <laughs> I mean, so and so has their shit together. They know I'm the best sister. Simone, uh, Bandon Catering, do you ship to Canada? Eh, you better ship to Canada. You better give away some of your product and you know, you don't know where you ship to. Let us give away. <laughs> See? Bandon Catering, are you there? I don't wrong her. She's gone. She's like, nope, not my product. <laughs> <laughs> Bandon Catering, where you at? We're going to give away some stuff. <laughs> as of November 1st, as of November 1st, she said it would be available. Okay. So let's do the two giveaways next week. We don't want to get in too much trouble. Let's find out exactly where she ships to and let's think of two really good questions. So we will have two giveaways of the... Actually, let's... We may have more. We may have more. Buying catering is going to give us a lot of giveaways. So check us out next week for Closet Carnival. We are going to have giveaways from Buying Catering and it will be open up to wherever she ships to. We will get you that information as well. Mm -hmm. Also for Closet Carnival, I am going to be telling you more about my reality show where I talk, talk, talk and Tracy doesn't get to talk any at all because I'm the boss. I'm the dominant personality and I'm pretty and I'm perfect. <laughs> Anyway, I wish I had like a burp so I could have just done burp it on it. That would have been really good. That would have been good. That would have been perfect. Too. I could have just burp. Like, <laughs> <laughs> your burp them not stinky, you know? No, they are stinky. Of late? Oh, okay. My poops don't stink though, but Remy's, I mean, Stevie's poops. It's Levi. Oh my gosh. Oh, Jesus. But why does Stevie's poops smell so bad and she's on breast milk? Well, remember, we're trying out the formula last week. So <laughs> stinky titty. <laughs> What? Can you stinky trees? Ah, 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 I can't believe ah, I didn't see that. Ah, ah, she stole it from me. <laughs> it's all I ever wanted. What? Trace, just go to EC, make a bar and get your own Huda palette. They have palettes, they have everything. They have Fenty. Why did you do they that? They have to NARS. Me? They have um, Revelon. They have all of those things. It's what you eat, Tracy. What can she be eating doodle if if, Remy, if if Stevie poop smell like doodle? No, I think it's because we were trying to give her a formula last week and I think she does just, the formula upsets her stomach. Oh. Mm, okay, fine. Oh, all right. Everybody, uh, everybody's laughing. At you. <laughs> <laughs> Remember the episode Tracy farted, <laughs> but she was like blah blah blah, blah, blah and then I had to be like, yo, you try to like brush that one off. Like, oh, I know, I know, I know. They will drag you on YouTube for being mean again. Who? I, the, the Where are they dragging you to? I don't know. Can I, know I come? <laughs> You bringing the lady B? I'm bringing the lady, lady B. B. I'm gonna get dragged and she's coming. <laughs> I don't wanna. Mm. You can just tell Jody would take Tracy's toys when she was little. Definitely. Yeah, but you had all those weird toys. I had to stop you from playing with them. Uh, they were not weird, they were just eclectic. They were my vibe. I used to like to press leaves and I used to go to the craft market. Yeah, you are a leaf presser. Yes. You should press roses and leaves and I'm like, yes. yo. And I used to collect paper and stationery. And I used to go to the craft market and there was a lady there who sold gemstones and I would collect gemstones. She was called the rock lady. 
Rock Lady, wherever you are, I still think of you fondly. She's collecting rocks. I was collecting boyfriends. I'm just joking, I'm just joking. I was a nice little girl. I went to Immaculate. I was like, you know, very... Ah, for, uh, when you pray the, be the beads. I'm sorry? Yeah. Jody, please read my comment. Got you, Glinton. All right, guys, so we are warming down. We have another five minutes. Who wants those? Who wa what was this Susie you were going to tell? Oh. About me. So, anyway. Oh, what is right. man? So, one time when we were a little bit, right, Jody loves to rub on. From, from Jesus as a boy, <laughs> Jody always <laughs> has rubbed like cream <laughs> or lotion <laughs> or something, right? So, she used to rub cocoa butter all over her face. Anyway. Another thing you need to know about Jodie, as much as y'all want to go... What? Just, I'm just making sure what you're saying. As much as she wants to go on like she's the boss of the relationship, Jodie can't do without me. No, I went to Barcelona, she came to get me, right? I had my own room when growing up and Jodie always slept in my bedroom. Because you were me. so scared. So you came into my bedroom to sleep with me. Yes, you're welcome. <laughs> I was so caring. So, anyway, every night she'd rub this cocoa butter all over her face. So, one <laughs> night I told her that if she rubs the cocoa butter on too much, her lips will slide off. <laughs> She's like, Your lips are gonna slide off your face because you use too much cocoa butter. <laughs> but why did Jody believe me? But I also believed you that that place going out to the airport, and you've tricked me with it so many times. So, you know, when you're driving out to Norman Manley International Airport. <laughs> Like this right at the side, the there's like like a in the water some rocks, like a fenced off area. So one day Tracy driving me to the airport, you know, she's like, "Oh, they're moving Dolphin Cove right here." <laughs> she's tricked me with that about five times. I'm no, like, "What? Like they're moving Dolphin Cove?" Joy thought Dolphin Cove was going to move out by the airport. She's I was like, like, "Where are they gonna put all the shops and stuff?" <laughs> and tri Yo, you tricked me good though. Oh God. Mm -hmm. Whatever. Dolphin Cove moving to Norman Manley International Airport. <laughs> A fly and swim. <laughs> the age difference is three years. Mm -hmm. And the younger one. Clearly. Well, I mean... I can hear somebody downstairs giving trouble, you know. Woo! They ignore a lot of the comments. Bright, stormy day. Girl! Not too long. Jodor... <laughs> Remember when you told the girl to rub banana in her boots to stretch them? Who is that? Who is that? You know, some of our carnival that, people. Yes. <laughs> yeah, but you know, we didn't have anything else. I was like, just rub the banana. Dude, dude, but banana skin is used me. to polish the, the leather. So I was like, yo, we can just. That's, a, that's one of our carnival friends now. We don't recognize our name. Oh <laughs> my gosh. Where is Julie Mango? Julie Mango, you here with us today? I tricked my sister in having her to believe I ate up all the dog food and girl, she yam it up that you sure that she ate dog food. Dog food wasn't bad. Dog food wasn't bad. Right, how come well, you, you, you used to trick me that you were eating dog food too? No, you used to trick me that you dog food tastes good, but then you'd actually eat the dog food to try and get me to eat it. So, <laughs> and I just wouldn't eat it. I knew you were tricking me. Yeah, I really do want to eat the dog food. She used to eat the milk bones. Like, you know, the what are you talking about? Those are so good. I used to also eat the fish food. The fish food was a bit fishy, like dried seaweed, but we eat sushi now, so it's a problem. Mm. Uh, on what now. do you guys think She's of Cardi's party? Cardi, our fellow Jamaican, had, uh, it looked, yo, vibes. Yo, they had vibes on a Monday. My gosh, man. Who Cardi's that party is gone? Cardi's party, Cardi B's party, birthday party on her birthday was yesterday. She had a dance hall themed event and um, Sean sent a dub. He wasn't able to go because he he's not traveling. Children. He has two young children. Shansia was there. Spice was there. Ding Dong was there. Ding uh, Dong! Yes, 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 yes. And she looked like she had a great time. Offset looked like he had a great time. Everybody that was on the stage, like all the videos just looked like everybody was hatching, having such a wonderful time. Like you really feel like you missed out of Cardi B's birthday and not Miami Carnival. That's what I feel. Well, I feel like I missed out on... You Sunday. feel what I feel. Okay. I feel like I missed out on that Sun Nation party that was thrown over Miami Carnival weekend. Yeah, Sun Nation is always good. Oh, love a Sun Nation party. The decor always makes me feel like... I know when you walk in and the, 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 the umbrellas are hanging, you're oh. like, mm, 
okay. I know, I feel rich. Yeah, yeah. I feel rich. And I always have like a photo up a wall to mm. when you're walking in. Appreciated, appreciated. Pee pee, big up yourself wherever you are. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Love my pee pee. <laughs> Love him. Alright, guys, we are wrapping up. We have given you some sus. We have given you some opinions. We have given you some food. We have given you some anything you want. And, you know, Jody asked the viewers to use the question button. There's a question button? What does that mean? There's a question button? End the show to save the life, please. Yes, okay. All right, everybody. Thank you so much for joining us. We'll catch you next week, Tuesday, for another thank you to hour our of sponsors, fun, eight, seven, and foolishness. Thanks to our sponsors, 876 Seafood, Bang and Catering for their gymosas, and also to Lady B Mixology in the house. Yes! Bye. Bye, everyone. Oops, oh, let's save this one, too.